Hi everyone, it's Jojo. Today I think I want to talk to you about a diamond painting failure. Um, a fail. So I'm going to start off. I promised that I would bring the little dragon back and show you the dragon. Um, I got this from Tamu and I am a Tamu affiliate and influencer. And I absolutely love um, this little dragon. Looks like there's a... Yep, a little piece of lint right there. Anyway, I absolutely love the way this dragon turned out. And it's only 25 by 25 centimeters. And as much as I love the way this dragon turned out, and I will keep it, um, I tend to shy away now from anything that is 25 by 25 centimeters or smaller. I like to work with at least, uh, say, 40 by 50 centimeters or bigger. I do, and I did, order and have uh, quite a few small ones. This one just turned out spot on. I absolutely love it. Um, I will be looking... Um, for a frame for it. Um, the number is AR961 and it's 25 by 25. Over here and down at the bottom it gives the um, the numbers. So there are 19 colors as you can see. And then it gives the symbols that was on the kit. And then it gives the DMC number over here on the side. So anything left over, as long as I have this DMC number, I have a container that I'm putting all of those in now. Um, because I do keep, even if they don't have the DMC number, I keep the um, extra drills because I do other projects. But I love, 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 love the way this shines. It is just absolutely beautiful. Now, I am an influencer and an affiliate with Tamu. So, if you click the link below, um, if you're brand new to downloading the um, the app, you can get like 30% off. Um, if you want to be an affiliate or an influencer, I, I couldn't think of the word, but if you want to be an influencer like I am, um, if you click the link below, um, it'll take you over to um, to move so you can sign up for that. Now, I specifically was showing you how beautiful this one is because the next one I'm going to show was an absolute fail. And I was so disappointed in it. Right here, I put all the colors where they were supposed to go. And this is what I got. And no matter how far away I get or how close up, it just really does not look good. That's supposed to say something on the order of Crypt Keeper. Um, you can kind of make out the face a little bit. But that's just barely. And that's if you... If you really look, see it says crypt here, um, but you cannot really tell it. To me, this is a fail. This had a lot of detail in it, where this one was not as detailed. However, this one was um, detailed just, it was just bright. It was just perfect. This one here should have been bigger. So size does matter on the diamond kits. The smaller you go, the least amount of detail that you want. Now in the original picture, there was a lot of detail that was supposed to show up in this. This one is a 20 by 30. The number is JY381. Um, this is one that somebody else ordered. And Tamu actually gave them their money back on it. So I thought, and I'm the one that did this one. Um, I did all the drills. I put them right where they were supposed to go. Um, 
once I got and I was doing the face because I started the top first and I worked my way down and that's because if it's going to go anywhere near my lap or possibly hang over my desk I like um, the beads not to hang over trefo because I'm afraid that if these beads are hung over like this or wrapped around something on this end and it's there in my lap I can rub against it rub my arms on it and pop the beads off so that's why I choose to start at the top and then if I decide to roll it up I'm rolling it away from me I'm working down here so um, I'm not getting involved with these beads in any way Makes sense you guys do you um, that's just the way that I prefer to do it but I was so disappointed um, I was excited to do this I love the colors um, if you can see there's some pretty greens and purple and blue um, I even like the white and I love of course I love the sparkle um, However, compared to this one or that one, kind of putting them side by side, and you see the eye here is a lot bigger. The dragon itself is a lot bigger. It doesn't have a lot of detail, small detail in it. This one has a ton of small detail. Um, and the longer you look at it, the more you can see the face. But, um, and you can see that the words were trying to come out, but they just didn't. Um, so yeah, I was disappointed with this one. I'm going to probably use this one as an example um, in the future whenever I explain why size matters. Now, if you get a diamond painting that is just plum full of detail you want a bigger painting and I am finding that I love this little painting and this little guy he took me about I'm gonna say two hours to do it took me almost as long to kit up as it did kit up and kit down as it did to complete him which I showed you some of me working up here um, in a video but he was so much fun and so relaxing now this one took longer because this one was more confetti meaning that oh, some of them they're so confetti it looks like somebody just took the numbers and threw them up in the air and <laughs> where they landed is where they went however on the bigger ones that are fully confetti they turn out beautiful you can tell what they are and they're just spot on um i absolutely love them this one though i'm not not so much um it's not my style of painting either but you know i I don't know I just did not really when I seen that the face wasn't coming out the way that I thought it should I was disappointed and I wanted to quit excuse me um, but the person that it belonged to told me to keep going they just wanted to see what it looked like in the end and like I said um, with Tamu they wanted to make sure that it, it was completed in case we had to send it back but this one Tamu didn't ask for it to be sent back so they did get a refund on it which to me I mean it wasn't very much but to me it should have been refunded and I would have had no problem sending this back had Tamu asked um, for them but um, in my own opinion this is a great example of why not to pick something detailed and pick it small so I like to work with at least a 30 by 40 or a, a 40 by 50 or bigger so 
Um, I will conclude this video now and show you the little dragon again. I appreciate y'all watching. Um, I hope this helps. I hope that um, if any of you start diamond painting and you have any questions, I'm no expert. I'm still brand new with this, but I'm loving the process. So please feel free to email me or send me a message or leave a comment below. Um, please like and subscribe to my um, channel. Thank you all so much for watching. And remember to be kind to one another. Bye-bye. Mm,